different kind of deceives uh, in mosaic, mosaic art, or door mosaic, or stuff like that. I'm, I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna show you all the kind of. And it depends on what you're gonna do with your mosaic. So I'm kind of. Let's also talk about. That mesh and paper and blah blah blah. So M is for mosaic mesh. P is for paper. P is for direct mosaic without any mesh and paper. V is for wall. F is for flooring, ceiling, and poles. Others. That is kind of mosaic mesh. Mesh here. Mosaic paper. You can directly draw something on it and glue your tiles. Mosaic paper. In direct style, you don't use any mesh or paper. You just stick it on the wall, on the floor, on the ceiling, in the pool, or whatever you like. If you want to make a mosaic on some wall, you can use the mesh. Plus, on the floor, you can use the mesh. Ceiling, use the mesh. In pool, use the mesh. Others is like covering some sculptures or for example you can cover this type of stuff with mosaic so you don't use any talk about paper mosaic on, on a wall somehow you can use the paper for floor you can use the paper for the ceiling it's a good idea for pool you can use a paper others like sculptures there is no way to use or any purpose to use any paper. Do it directly with your hands and blah blah blah. But directly style. On the wall, possible. Floor, possible. In the ceiling, on the ceiling, possible. In the pool, and also exactly for some sculpture stuff. You can glue it directly on it. I actually changed my direction completely in galleries and shows and stuff like that because I really, I'm sorry but I'm fed up from this all mosaic order stuff. Um, of that, so for, for example we have a project now somewhere in South Africa so much work to do and you are actually not doing any art because it's different doing orders than doing art. So let's talk about what kind of adhesive we can use when we work with mesh, when we work with paper or when we work directly when we want to work directly on the wall mass paper direct and others water based solvent adhesive cement and silicone I decided to use mesh what kind of adhesive material you're gonna use I tell it you right now you can use water based you can use um, this Solvent stuff, you can't use cement, you can use silicone. If you're gonna use that paper stuff, you are only able to use water based adhesives, which looks like this. It's white and it goes transparent after it dries. Solvent stuff, cement stuff, or silicone. It's impossible. Why? It's a noise. So, what happened here? impossible because how the method works is this is the mosaic paper so you take the piece and the water based adhesive you put it on the tile and then you go directly to the paper with the opposite side this is how it looks when finished mosaic is done you put your cement on the wall then you put your tile here, after a while you're gonna put this paper here and you can you can take that paper out so the tile will stay on the wall. So 
direct method if you want to make a mosaic directly on the wall without mesh, paper, never use water-based adhesives, never use solvent kind of adhesive, but use cement stuff kind of is the only way to stick your mosaics on a wall. Silicone never use, never and ever. What about the others? Sculptures or some, for example, some metal stuff. You want to cover it with mosaic. Never use water based. Never use soil and stuff. Use cement stuff. You can use cement stuff if your sculpture or or object is uh, cement kind of concrete stuff or something like that. Then you can use cement adhesive, of course. But I guess for object stuff like metal wood or some stuff like that go and check um, the German is a German German brand which calls uh, root the link is I want to write it below so check it out can never use I used silicon sometimes on mesh only when the mosaic for example I finished today and tomorrow or in one week send it to the owner and they will uh, start the installation that's why I changed the whole shit to produce some art which street art and mosaic together which defines me share with you. Think about that. You're making mosaics for hours and hours and hours, for months and months or years. So you are very close to that material. So that as it sees stuff, it um, smells and you will have it all on your hands and fingers and maybe you will have some on the gauge. You, have, you will have very close contact with that stuff and it's it's pure chemical so find out which one is the best way to use I mean which one is more healthy and water based solvent cement and silicone the smell up on your hands good to work with good to work with I mean Imagine that you put some, you are making some mosaics and you put some uh, mosaic tile on your mesh and after a few minutes you decide to take it out or you decide to move it a little bit. So, the smell. The water-based adhesive is the most unsmell adhesive glue material you can't find on the market because it smells like nothing. It has a little smell, but it will not irritate you. The solvent stuff, very sick material. Never use it, never and ever. Cement, cement has no no smell, not much as I know. When you want to make something directly on a wall, you can use it, but just because of its cement, you have to take care of your hands and get some mittens or something like that because it's very it's not very healthy when you touch cement stuff with your hands. Silicon smells like shit. Very irritating and uh, it's not a good idea. I never use it. Never. To clean up your hands. Because of it's water-based, it's water-based adhesive. So it means wash your hands with water and you'll see you have very clean hands and you can go easily to your dating. Solvent, very bad. And it's not easy to get out from your fingers, I mean, from the fingernails, it will stick there forever. So, it's not a good idea. Silicon is very bad to clean it up because. Oh. Easy to 
work with. Always water based because you can't even move it after 10 minutes if you like. You can easily take it out and put some other tiles. Solvent stuff dries so fast. I mean, you put it on the mesh and it's done. By the way, this water based stuff you can only move it when you work with mesh. On paper, it will dry directly because the paper will suck that. Um, adhesive and so it get dry very fast. Cement on a the wall, there are different kinds of cement adhesive stuff. You can check uh, Mappai for example, Italian. I will write it below in the comment section. If you want to make some mosaic direct in a pool, you have to use something different. If you want to use it on a tabletop, there is some materials also without any water. So mostly it's easy to uh, work with. Easy to work with, cement adhesives. You can take it out, you can change the position of your mosaic tile and stuff like that. Silicon is bullshit from back to front. There are much more stuff to talk, but I guess it will get boring. It takes too long and too much blah 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 and I try to make it as quick as possible to transfer my experience to you over there. I also some topics about uh, after you finish that mosaic on your mesh paper or whatever you need to install it so there are once again different adhesives and techniques to lay your mosaic tiles on a wall, on a ceiling or on a floor or in a pool. Pool is for example very very technically so there is a lot of water and all that pressure on your mosaic tiles will will affect your your um, your installation progress so I try to share all my experience with you guys to help uh, you to start up very easy and quickly. Me myself I had, ne I had never a chance when 15 years ago when I decided to start with mosaic or art stuff because I couldn't find any videos or any stuff like that so I learned it all by myself by trying and trying and trying again. It will be more easier for me to upload a new vlog every Sunday because on Saturday the business uh, speed is a little uh, getting slowed down. So I will be in South Africa in two or three weeks I guess. Then we have, I am invited to uh, uh, a art mosaic Graffiti art, art Exposition in Paris. I will be there at the first week of uh, December if everything is okay. Also that one painting, uh, spray painting, or I don't know how we're gonna make it from my friends Sinan and Nastia. Still waiting because they have some uh, work to do in, in the construction area. So I will let you know in the vlog. Uh, see you and thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye.